Weird Psychology Facts, Part 1 Disassociative Identity Disorder, aka Multiple Personality Disorder, is a mental disease that affects roughly 1% of the population. It happens when a person disassociates themselves from a past experience that's too traumatic for their conscious self to deal with. This can cause the brain to fracture into many different personalities with their own postures, gestures, and ways of talking. Some of these alters can be so extreme that someone can experience major biological changes with each personality. For example, one woman with this disorder has some personalities that are blind. Even with her eyes open, an EEG showed that there was no brain activity associated with sight when these blind personalities were active. In an even more extreme case, serial rapist Billy Milligan had at least 26 different personalities. He was famously acquitted in court due to the claim that two of his personalities committed the crimes without him being aware of it. Weird Psychology Facts Part 2 Psychologist Laszlo Polgar theorized that any child could become a genius in any field if they received enough early training. So as an experiment, he trained his daughters in chess from the age of four, and all three went on to become chess prodigies. His youngest daughter, Judith, is still considered the greatest female chess player in history. A person with damage to the right brain hemisphere can develop a joke addiction, a compulsive need to constantly make jokes. A group of psychologists once studied 400 different movies to find the most realistic psychopath. They found that Javier Bardem's depiction of Anton Chigurh in the movie No Country for Old Men was the winner. Several famous psychopaths such as Hannibal Lecter and Norman Bates didn't even make the top 100. Weird Psychology Facts Part 3 The average adult dog can count to 5 and understand about 165 words including signs, signals, and gestures. But the smartest dogs can understand up to 250 words, putting them at the same intellectual level as a two and a half year old human. The call of the void is the feeling you experience when you're high up somewhere and feel like you're gonna jump, even though you never will. If you ever need to tell a convincing lie, just do it when you have to pee. According to the inhibitory spillover effect, people are much better liars when they have a full bladder. In the 1973 Rosenhan experiment, a Stanford psychologist and his associates faked having mental disorders to be admitted to various mental asylums across the U.S. They then acted completely normally, but were forced to admit to having a mental illness and agree to take antipsychotic drugs before they could be released. 